All right, guys. So now what I want to do is go into the materialize variables file, which is in CSS, SCSS components and then va underscore variables dot SCSS. And what I'm going to do is change the primary color from this materialize red. I'm going to change this to teal. Okay, we can put any of the materialized colors in here and we'll keep that at dark in two. And then let's see primary color light is going to be primary color, which is this value. So teal plus 15%. It's going to lighten at 15%. And then we have the dark, which will darken at 15%. And then the secondary color, which is teal by default, I'm going to change that to gray. And I'm going to set that to darken. Four. Okay, and then let's see for the six um, secondary color. I'm also going to create a secondary color light. So I'm going to copy this down. We can create new variables if we want as well. And this will be gray, but it'll be dark in three. And then we can leave the rest of this stuff. Now, if we go down to Let's see, I want to look for the side nav because I want to change the background color. So let's see, navigation bar, side navigation. And see how it says side nav BG color? I'm going to change this to our secondary color, which is the dark gray. So I'm just going to put in secondary color like that. Okay, and let's see, I think that's it. But let's let's save that. And now if we go and we open up the side nav, okay, so now it's dark, but the 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 font is also dark. And let's see, do we have a font color? We do. So the font color I'm gonna change to white. So in RGB it's two five five three times. So we'll go like that and save. That'll make it a little grayish. And there we go. All right, and you can change just about anything in here that has to do with any of the different aspects, the font, the default font sizes for your headings, things like that. But um, I'm not going to go too crazy here. And then we can also use these variables within our own SAS because we imported materialize. So what I'll do here now is in our main SCSS, let's add uh, let's add our body tag. I'm actually going to just change this to vars. So in the body, let's set um, background. Let's set it to our primary color which should be teal. So I'll save that. And now we have our teal color. Now, I think that should be darker. Let's see. Um, oh, teal. I wanted to darken it, not lighten. So we'll save that. There we go. And you could change this to anything if I wanted it to be blue. change it to blue so whatever you want to change it to okay and you can create your own variables if you didn't want to use the materialize colors variables you could create them here as well but uh, it's it's really up to you how you want to do it but I think we're gonna stop here and in the next video we'll continue with the markup we'll create our little images here our gallery or whatever and we'll go from there